Here is another interesting question for you to practice. This will help you in your test. Question number two. Find a vector perpendicular to both u and v using dot product. So you should copy the question, pause the video, solve it and then restart to see my suggestion. Now my suggestion is, first think about it. When we say find a vector perpendicular to both u and v, that means let the vector be a. So let's define. So let the vector let's say a be perpendicular to both u and v. And let's define a as a1, a2, a3 as the three direction numbers. And since it is perpendicular to both u and v, we can say vector a dot u equals to 0 and vector a dot v equals to 0, right? So we get two equations. So from the first one, we can say a1 a2 a3 dot 1 minus 1 minus 1 or which is equals to a minus a2 a1 rather minus a2 minus a3 and this should be 0 right e equals to 0 so that is our first equation from the second one we get the equation a1 a2 a3 dot the vector is 2 minus 2 and 3 so we get 2a1 minus 2a2 and 3a3 plus 3a3 equals to 0 so that becomes our second equation now we have two equations and we need to solve for three variables a1 a2 a3 so of course we can't solve for three variables so what we need to do is eliminate one and write answer in terms of other two right so that is the strategy now if you look into this equation what you can do is you can multiply the first equation by three to eliminate the third vector right and let's el try to do it and then then we'll solve so then we have the first so we are forming this kind of this is our first equation and this is the second equation so multiplying the first one with 3 so you get 3a1 minus 3a2 minus 3a3 equals to 0 and the second one is I'm right rewriting the second one here a1 minus 2a2 plus 3a3 right equals to 0 now these are my two equations now now what I will do is eliminate a3 so I'll add them up right so if you add them up let me show your work here itself if you add them up you get rid of a3 and what do you get you get 5a1 minus 5a2 equals to 0 now you get a1 in terms of a2 which is if it has to be 0 which is a1 is equals to a2 if we put a1 equals to a2 only then this statement is true so you get your solution a1 equals to a2 you really don't get any numbers here right you get a1 equals to a2 now what to do so now let's plug it in in one of our equation and find what a3 is right if a1 is equals to a2 then instead of a1 I'll write a2 in my first equation then let's see what do we get so the first equation is a1 minus a2 it is a1 minus a2 minus a3 equals to 0 and I'm putting a1 equals to a2 here that means a2 minus a2 minus a3 equals to 0 now a2 minus a2 is 0 right so we get minus a3 equals to 0 or a3 is equals to 0 so that is the solution we get so our solution is a1 equals to a2 and a3 equals to 0 that is the solution so that means the vector should be kind of a1 a1 and 0 so that kind of vector will work so what we can do is we can take a1 common and we can write this as 1 1 0 so this is a vector 1 1 0 which is actually perpendicular to both vectors u and v 
So we have an answer here and the answer is specifically 1 we can give 1 1 0 is a vector which is perpendicular to both u and v. Now what you can do is you can test this out. You can plug it in 1 1 and find dot product with u and v and check if your starting statement is correct or not. Now this is a very interesting case when you're trying to find perpendicular vectors using dot products, especially in R3, then you land up in these kinds of problems in solving and manipulating the variables since you have only two equations and three variables, right? Now, easier way to solve this could have been cross product, right? So cross product will give you a direct answer. But the question specifically was using dot product. And that's why it's kind of difficult. In fact, whenever you have to find vectors perpendicular, always use cross product, if, if not specified, right? In this case, it was on purpose, specified to test your skills on dot product and how to solve equations thereafter. I hope that was a learning experience. Thank you and all the best.